Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Arne and today is May 21st, happy Saturday. Today, um, I just wanted to share with you a thrifting haul that me and my little sister went on and I spent probably about $40, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, somewhere around there, 40 bucks. I have got to show you the stuff that we found today. And if we would have went shopping to a store, we probably would have spent a few hundred dollars. And it was just really a fun day because I was supposed to go to my sister's um, place up in Olean, New York, and it's two hours from where I live. And I just didn't know if I wanted to, to take the long haul to go up there and yard sales and stuff. So I thought, let's just stay home. But I had to go to the bank and over in Pennsylvania I'm on the PA border. And we went to the bank and we ran into a few yard sales and I wanted to check out my neighbor's closet because it's a secondhand shop that I love to go to every now and then when I'm out that way. And there's another little uh, shop that's out of the way. It's called the NTCH, which it means Northern Tier Children's Home Thrift Store, or we just kind of shorten it up and call it the niche. So, and it's a really great place to go just to kind of dig and it's a treasure hunt. So I'm gonna get started. <laughs> without keeping y'all waiting and me being babbling here. So um, the first yard sale we went to, we got into Mansfield and we stopped at this sale and I found this cute little ceramic, my, actually my sister found this, it's a ceramic egg. It's black and white and I just thought it was really super cute and it was in a quarter box and it just sits flat, it's got a little hole in it. And I thought it would go great in my dining room because my dining room has a lot of black and white. So I'm going to put that on the little shelf. But a cute little, uh, it's almost like a cow spotted egg. Really, really fun. Um, another thing that my sister found in the quarter box was this cute little keychain. If you all can see it, I think it has, has like an angel on it, like your guardian angel for your keys. Really cool for, for 25 cents. It looks brass. I don't know if it's made of brass, but it's kind of heavy. Very pretty. Quarter. Can't beat it. So um, my sister found this cute little bralette. It's kind of lace. Um, I don't know what this was. I think it might've been a quarter. Not very much. Um, they had loads of books, 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 books. And I thought this was a really cute book for my sister's grand granddaughter, Araya, because her dad is gonna get a Rottweiler puppy and it's probably already got it by now. But I thought this was a, a cute book maybe yeah. for her to read. And it's called Carl Go Shopping by Alexandra Day. And it's got some cute little pictures in it. And I don't know, these books might have been a quarter. I mean, they have like some old fashioned pictures in them. Just really cool. Can't beat books for little kids. And then we, she found this book called Princess Party Time. This one's really cute by Sue DiCicio. I don't know, can't pronounce it. But um, this is like a hard, it's like a hard, um, a hard book like it doesn't have the paper pages in it really cute um she so got another book here the lullaby bible this one's really cute by melody carlson and this one is another one that has hard pages in it so i think there's a lot of um biblical kind of like stuff in it i don't know kids love books it's good to read to kids and my sister reads to her grandkids all the time oh here's a cool find this is a juice strainer and this was in the quarter in the quarter bin and it even says on it that it's a, a fruit juice strainer it says it right on it but i have an old cupboard in my kitchen and i like to put all this antique kind of stuff so i'm gonna put that on there and then i found this really cute shirt for myself um it was a quarter and and it's j jill i don't know don't know what the brand is, but it's going to need to be washed. But I thought it was a really cute kind of shirt, my style. <laughs> so that was our first yard sale. I think that's the end of that. So then there was a yard sale across the street, and they must have had it for a couple of days. And when we went over there, they were like, everything's half off. So my sister found, she always finds stuff. She found these cute little boots for 50 cents. They were marked a dollar, and she got them for 50 cents. They're like brand new, and I believe these came... They're called ETC, oh, and they're by Rue 21. So Rue 21, they're probably $20 boots. Great find for 50 cents. And then they had this outfit hanging up, which is really cute. It's a Halloween outfit, and I think this was a dollar. And it had the little hat attached. So, and we like to do Halloween in the fall. Uh, when October, we oh, my family always gets together. We all dress up and we go out to our, the local bar and we have, they have a Halloween party and it's a blast. So trying to think ahead for a dollar for a Halloween outfit, can't beat it. So onward to the next sale. 
the next sale it was my favorite store my neighbor's closet and of course i have to think of my my husband's grandson my grandson too i guess <laughs> it, it's hard for me to say my grandson but um i'm always looking for toys for little boys and i found this little tykes truck and i believe this was two dollars but it was 25 percent off uh it needs a little cleaning up it's got a little dirt on it but um just a really fun truck for a, for a toddler and then also found him this little fisher price pail that has the little um spots in the top that you put all these shapes in and all of the shapes are inside of it and there's two each and this was two dollars for 25 percent off can't beat it you know i mean fisher price toys if you go to the store and price these yeah even even little type stuff you know it's a lot so then i got some more and we we had quite a haul at the my neighbor's closet and my sister usually i find her really pretty things to wear she found me this dress and i love it this would go great with my hair uh, i love the summery color it's very refreshing it has the little um scrunched up elastic in the back very comfortable in summertime when it gets really warm i love being in dresses because dresses are very loose and you don't feel hot and i don't have clothes sticking to my body so i really love my dresses in the summertime as well as my little skirts so here's another thing that i found for myself was this gap it's a gap sweatshirt and i really like i love gap clothing and it has the arrows on it and it doesn't have a hood on it but it's nice and i love that this this heathered um blue on it and it's just really nice for fall i love my my sweaters and my sweaters my sweatshirts um, hoodies, stuff like this, because I'm very much a hoodie sweatshirt kind of girl. So those two items were four that was four fifty for the dress, and it was twenty five percent off. Um, the sweatshirt was four fifty, and that was twenty five percent off. And then my sister found me this cute little top too, and I love this. And this was also four fifty, twenty five percent off. This is a cute cotton material, loose little little um baby doll kind of top and i've got a white skirt and i thought this would look so great for it for summertime i just love i love my clothes and i love that i can buy them at a, a secondhand store and don't have to pay the price of what people want for clothes you know you can find people pay full price for clothes and then they give them to the their local thrift stores or goodwills you know and why pay full price when you can find beautiful clothes that look just practically brand new and so my sister found this at my neighbor's closet too and this was marked a dollar fifty 25 percent off everything was 25 percent off and this says grandchildren they are the sweetest in the sunshine in life so she has two granddaughters so she was kind of thinking of photos maybe of her granddaughters so that's what we found at my neighbor's closet and then Oh, of course, we went to McDonald's and we had to get frappes, you know, because it's kind of warm out today. It's supposed to be 92 degrees here. So we got our frappes and we went on up past the red light on the other side of Mansfield and we found another yard sale. And this was a real jackpot yard sale. They had they had a couple pairs of these boots. Um, there was two choices in this size. Um, brand spanking new, never been worn. They still have the cardboard in them. They still have the stickers on the bottom. So my sister bought, well, I bought these for my sister for her granddaughter. Um, very nice. They are, the tag on it is Rugged Bear. Very cute for a little girl. For a dollar, you can't beat it. I mean, that was an excellent price. We were both like standing there with our mouths open, like, <laughs> and he's like, yes, a dollar. He said, I want to get rid of them. So I'm like, awesome. So I found some more toys and I found this bag of little cars and Fisher Price people. I'm not, I think there's some Fisher Price, but I'm not sure what the other ones are. But for Jim's grandson, I'm trying to find little boy toys because I have lots of little girl things here, but I don't have a lot of boys. So I'm trying to stock up on toys for, for, for Squish. And I got this bag of toys for $3. $3 for all these little cars and these little peoples in there. And I thought that was great. And then right beside them, there was two bags of these brand new blocks. And these are, just, you know, the old fashioned wooden blocks. And I love these because I think they're kind of retro, but they're brand new. And they have the letters on them. And then they have pictures and different things. And I think these are great for a little boy. Both bags, $3 for both of them. What a find, you know? I mean, I can't imagine what, what blocks must cost new in the store, but you know, I mean, kids outgrow them fast, you know, I can pass them on to another little kid when he's grown. So then my sister found this book and how much was this? A quarter, 50 cents? 50 cents. I think it was 50 cents. And this was, um, what is the name of this book? Out of This World. And it's by Laurel Hamilton. Today, best-selling authors, Sue 
Crenard and Maggie Shane. I don't know. She likes to read <coughs> books. You find these at yard sales all the time. Great prices, you know. Somebody reads it, pass it on. So then we went back up through town, and there's a little quilt shop there that I love to stop at because she always has these scrap fabric bundles. And I went in there looking because I thought I want to check out her scrap bundles since I was over in that area. And she moved them, and I couldn't find them. And I'm asking, I was like, well, she always has little scrap bundles, you know. Well, finally they found them and they showed them to me. So I got a scrap bit, no, scrap bundle of fabric for two fifty. Two fifty. And this the little store is called Barely Enough and she has a lot of little homemade things in there. She does a lot of crocheting and knitting and she has fabric and she makes quilts and there's just all kinds of little homey goodness in there in that little store and I love to stop in. So I stopped in there and got that little bit of scrap fabric for two fifty. So our last stop was the the niche the Northern Tier Children's Home Thrift Store. And, um, oh my gosh. We went, and that was, it's one of them out of the way places that you like to check out. And when we went in there, you know, we just figured that would be our last stop. And so we're looking around and we're finding a few things, but I didn't have, you know, I had, I had, mo I had money left, but I didn't know how much I had. And I thought, well, you know, do I need it? Do I really want it? You know? Well, then the lady comes over and tells us, everything in the store is half off. We're having a sale today. And she's like, they don't have it very often. I'm like, wow, I timed this just right. So then we really started digging. So my sister found another picture frame. I don't know, this might've been a quarter, I think. So half price probably was hardly anything. Um, they had some clothing in there. I found me a Gap denim skirt. This would have been normally a dollar. I got them for 50 cents. Uh, I love my skirts in the summertime because they're fun to wear. They're better than shorts. I feel like they're free. Um, and then I got another skirt. This one is corduroy. This one could be worn in the fall too with maybe some cute little leggings, but very comfortable to wear. And this is an American Eagle and that's my brand. I love American Eagle jeans. I know how they fit me and they all fit me wonderfully. So I kind of stick to the brand, but the skirts, I can't beat it because it's the size that that I wear and the regular price was a dollar fifty cents can't beat it so in, in the northern tier children's home thrift store I ended up spending fifteen dollars but then I ha had my sister go back in for one more item and I'll show you that last so um here's another one um a brand new plastic tablecloth in the bag for my uh porch out or my my porch my picnic table I have out on my porch but when we got this home and I looked at it I'm like oh this is a round table cover, so I don't know, I might have to improvise, but we were talking about getting a plastic table cover out there because my front porch, as the traffic goes by, I kind of get dust, and you know, from the rain and the wind and whatever, you know, it comes through the screen, but for 50 cents, can't beat it, it's brand new. So, and then my sister, my sister found me a lot of things today. She come running over and she showed me this shirt, and I just like, oh my God, it's so cute. It says, the goat master <laughs> you know and it just makes me think of gilbert and i was like what's on the back of it and you turn it around and i think this came from some kind of a wine store but it says two goats brewing uh hector new york so i take it this might have come from a brewery or a oh, wine yeah. wine place i'm not really sure but i love the color of it and the t-shirt fabric is called burnout and it's a nice v-neck and i think this might have been 50 cents or a dollar i'm not even sure but really cute to wear i thought you know i like my t-shirts because they're comfortable Oh, fabric. And I, I looked through the fabric bin and I really wasn't going to buy any, but then when she told us it's half off, I'm like, yeah, maybe I better. So I found this good sized piece of flannel and I'm not even sure there might be a third of a yard um, on here, but it was a dollar. And it, this is flannel, 50 cents. I'm thinking baby blankets, you know, they would be great. I love to mix with my scraps. Here's two more scrap pieces that had some pretty flowers on it and it had a matching um, color fabric, 50 cents. It was marked a dollar, but it was half price, so 50 cents. Oh, that, oh this was a, what well, this was a fine too. I found this first thing and it's a magnifying glass. And I, I don't know, it's so retro -y and so kind of old. And I thought, you know, with your eyesight getting kind of bad, my dad uses these because my dad will not, and he's 82, he's gonna be 83 June 6th. His birthday is right around the corner. But anyway, I think it was two Christmases ago because my dad will not wear reading glasses and he does not wear glasses. He will not wear glasses on his face. He's 82 years old, soon to be 83. I had bought him a really nice magnifying glass, kind of this size at the Cracker Barrel a couple of years ago. And the handle had looked like a metal twig. It was really cool. And he uses it to read his newspapers with. But I don't know, this one, this one's kind of smudged. It needs cleaned up, but I went back and got it at the last minute because the plastic is hand, the handle is plastic and it kind of has like this ivory 
cream color to it. And the knob on the end was just really cool, but really cool. And this was marked $3, so this was $1.50. Can't beat it. I'm like so excited. So um, we went, you know, and we're really digging around in there. Oh, and this little dish I found. Oh my God. I know I'm, I'm a fetish for dishes and little bowls, but this was really cool. I love this super little um, mauve print on it, or it's almost like a burgundy maybe. I don't know, but a little square dish and it was marked a dollar, so it would have been 50 cents. And it actually has a stamp on the bottom of it. I thought this would be really cool just to put on my, my old cupboard in my kitchen downstairs. I have a lot of old little stoneware bowls and different things like this, but this was just different. It just caught my eye as I was walking by because of the shape, it's square. And all my little bowls that I have this size are round. So I thought, great find. I don't know the maker of it. I couldn't read it, but um, it is stamped and it's just unique and I love it. So that was a find. So then we went back to the shoes, and, you know, and I'm not really one that buys too many used pair of shoes. I mean, I don't know, cause I'm, I'm really fussy about my shoes, but I love these boat shoes. And these just caught my eye at the last second because they were sitting on the floor and I just love the style of them. I'm like, they look like my size. So I just took my shoe off and I slid my foot into it and I was like, oh my God, they're so comfortable. And I thought these would be great just running around outside when I'm chasing chickens, you know, or running out to water my plants out in the, in the gardens, you know, in my potted plants outside. So great find. These were a dollar a pair. Shoe, all shoes were a dollar a pair. So I got these for 50 cents. Yeah, can't beat it. I'm like, I get so excited. So I love them and I can't wait to put them on and wear them outside. Um, my sister found um, a little clip and I mean, these things are probably a dollar when you buy them brand new. I think she got it for a quarter, maybe less because it's half price. I mean, the, the, uh, you know, the things that we find is a treasure hunt. And I guess so excited on the way home because I'm like, look at all this stuff that we bought. You know, I was like, we would have went out and bought the stuff brand new. We would have spent a couple hundred dollars. Oh, cool. So, and here's another fabric piece that I found, and this is a quite a bit bundle of fabric. Um, it's flannel, and it has these awesome colored fish on it. I don't know; they don't have the size of what's here, but I'm I'm guessing it might be a couple yards. But for the bulk of it, I'm thinking this would make a great backing for a child's um, blanket or maybe a baby blanket. I don't know, yes. but I love the color of it. And, and then the price was $5. I got it for two fifty. dollars You can't beat the price. So, so I mean, <laughs> I can't help myself. So um, I found cookbooks and my, my mother-in-law, Emma, she's trying to do this diet to stay under 1200 calories. And I found this, this cookbook and I, and I instantly thought of Emma and it says hungry girl, 200 under 200, 200 recipes under 200 calories. There is all kinds of recipes in here and there's even some colored pictures in here. And who makes this book by Lisa Lillian, um, really cool book. So she was over and I showed her this book and she went to track and supply, but she can come back and pick it up. But I wanted to show you all, you know, all the cool stuff that we found. So, um, I got some other stuff here. I gotta move my junk around. <laughs> I got to show you. This was the first thing that I saw in the in the store, and there was no price on it. And this is a double magazine rack. I'm gonna try to make this so you can see it. But there's two tiers to this magazine rack. And I might even just paint this farmhouse white because I got some um, farmhouse paint. And these magazines in it, there are. I don't know. She had a pile of quilting magazines and these were free. So the quilting magazines I kind of got on the way out and I haven't even looked through them yet. But this magazine rack didn't have a price on it when I went and looked at it. And um, I asked the lady, you know, what's the price on the, the double magazine rack? And um, oh, I look like a freight. Um, she said that normally they put $5 on it. So she put a $5 sticker on it and it's half price day. So I got this magazine rack for $2.50. And I thought it would be great to put all of my sewing magazines in instead of having them tucked away in my cupboards. I like to be able to see them because we all like a little inspiration when we're sewing and stuff. So I thought it was really cool. So that was my last thing. So I ended up spending $15 and then we were going out to the Jeep and we were loading it up and my sister Glenda was like, you didn't buy that garbage can? And I'm like, oh, I was like, it's half price. I said, I said here, I gave you $5. I said, and I'll go back, I have you go back in and get it. So she went back inside. And I'm pretty sure this garbage can that I picked up, and this is really cool. 
I'm pretty sure they marked on this seven dollars, but the lady, I think she thought it was five. I'm not really sure, but my sister, I gave her a five dollar bill, and she came back out with two two dollars and fifty cents. So I got it for two fifty. But it's brand new. It still has a sticker on it, and I thought this would be great for my sewing room when we're doing the quilting machine because when Jim trims our quilts after we're done quilting them, he throws all the scraps in the, in the the leftovers in my tiny little garbage can that I have by my cutting table and it's just a little thing so it's it's good for loose threads little end pieces and things that you know that there's hardly anything and it doesn't it's not very big it doesn't hold much so I'm thinking this would be great by the quilting machine and I'm I was thinking the other day I needed one so I find one brand new it's, it's great so um I think I said there was a few more items here oh she did find a few more items I forgot to show these so she found this little thing, it's for a cell phone. I think this is um, like a sticker decoration. Regular price on it says $2. They had it marked for a dollar. So we got that for 50 cents, which was great. Um, she got a couple pairs of socks here. These, I'm not even sure. These were probably a quarter, I don't know. And with half price, they might've been two for a quarter. Um, more fabric. She found this little piece. It's almost like a soft denim. It's heavy. It's a kind of heavy material, but I'm not really sure. But there's probably, um, I would say maybe a little bit bigger than a fat quarter. And it was marked, it was marked a dollar. So this was 50 cents. So I was like, 50 cents. I was like, get it. I was like, we'll use it for something. And then she got, oh, the lady loved this. She found this cute little skirt. And this has a cute little stretchy uh, waistband, but my my little sister looks so cute in this with a with a cute little top. I mean, just so summery and fun to wear out, just great. So that um, I think that includes everything that we got today in our thrift thrift store haul. Isn't this great? I got a lot of stuff for under you know for around forty bucks. I mean, like I said, if I would have bought this stuff brand new, I mean it would be crazy. So I got a few more things here. Yesterday I went with Emma. I'm figuring since I'm on here, I might as well show you what I got yesterday too. We went ended up going to the mall. The mall where we are in Elmira, um, isn't malls are just kind of going out of style, I guess. There's not much left in the malls, but there was a t-shirt shop down there and we wanted to check out the Emma wanted to check out the t-shirt. I kind of rode along with her. But once I got down there, um the lady did custom t-shirts there and she was amazing. And I don't have her business card with me, but I'm going to have to tell you about um, who she is. She's at the Arnott Mall in Elmira. And I had gotten some t-shirts made. Country farmhouse quilting. I'm so excited. So um, when we go to meets and guilds and stuff, we've got t-shirts. And oh, I'm melting. My eye is burning. I got Country Farmhouse quilting on the back of my t-shirt with this awesome little old time iron. Every quilt deserves to be quilted and it has Country Farmhouse quilting at gmail.com and then our phone number here at the shop. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm super happy with these t-shirts and I'm hoping that we will order more. So that one was mine and this one is Jim's and I got Jim, his name on his and on the back, the same, the same uh, style. She really did great. I'm going to have to dig out her card and um, let you know who she is in her little shop. She has like a little t-shirt shop, so I was really, really excited with that. She only charged me $25 for the t-shirts, and it's a great way to um, get our name out to the local people. Um, I am, uh, I do belong to the corn, well, I haven't paid my dues yet, but I'm going to uh, join the Corny Quilting Guild and the Elmira Peacemakers Guild, you know, because there's a lot of numbers in there and they all quilt and it's a great way to let people know that we do do our quilting and we're uh, being very successful at it. So I'm really excited to have our business on t-shirts. So, I mean, it's a start. And of course, um, I got an idea from me and my friend Marlene. Um, my friend Marlene comes and sews with me <laughs> every week. Hello, Marlene, I know you're watching. But um, we are gonna do some quilts together. We are going to build a quilt together because she's never made a quilt. And I, that's something I'm going to um, share on, on my channel with all of you too when we get it started. I am working on right now of getting the scrappy star uh, pieces ready so I can uh, do a tutorial and you can do like a sew along with me. 
with that. So that was that's going to be coming very shortly. I'm just still preparing for it. So I've got a lot of things I'm preparing for. But anyway, we're going to do a quilt together, and we are going to do the X's and O's quilt. And she wants to do a quilt for her sister. And I'm going to do a quilt with Marlene. So we can sew, each sew a quilt together and I can show her how to do it. It's very simple and I will bring you along on, on that uh, journey in another video. But I picked up four fat quarters yesterday at Joanne's because Joanne's had a 40% off fat quarters and Marlene is going to do her quilt in purple tones and I thought this was a really cool fabric that I picked up. It has some purple tones in it as well as other colors that are going to be really cool. Uh, I'm doing a teal quilt, so I've been looking for teal blocks, and it's, they're all scrappy blocks, blocks from all different kinds of fabrics that are going to make the X's and O's, and then we're going to have to get our background fabric, but this is going to be um, one of the blocks in, in mine, and my sister came up with this little kitty fabric that has the teals in it, so we wanted to add, oh no, the teals, yes, the teals, and maybe the gray and the purple, I don't know, we wanted to kind of incorporate kitties, because we know Marlene loves kitties, and so do I. Any of you all ain't seen my my kitty boy <laughs> in one of my previous videos. He's a handful. Um, here's another purple one that was really pretty, and this could be used with the purple or the teal teal quilt that we're gonna build. And this one with the purple, pink, and teal butterflies, which would be really cool in those quilts. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. But um, just wanted to share all this stuff with you. Um, it was a fun day today. Me and my sister had a good time. Um, just a little sister time. We left this morning and we were back before two o'clock this afternoon. It's a warm day here in New York. It's it's supposed to be 92 today. So I'm back in my sewing room with my air conditioner on and I just wanted to show you all of the cool finds that um, we found. So um, if you enjoyed my video and all my cool, cool finds, let me know, um, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. You know, this is just one of the things that, I mean, I like to put a lot of different things on my channel because this is my life, you know things that I love to do, my favorite things, but my passion is sewing as, as I have always said. But anyway, it's just a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, check back. I got plenty of good things to come. All right. I'll chat at you later. Bye.